Good morning. My name's Rich, and I'm from Voyages and Vacations with Pam and Rich. It's Wednesday, June the 10th, and I just figured I'd just try this little video. Why do I have a hat on? Because my hair's a mess this morning. But anyway, got to push my glasses up here. But I just thought I'd just make this video, put it out there, see how you like it. Where do we live? We live in Ruskin, Florida. Ruskin, Florida's down US 41 in the Tamiami Trail. That's between Tampa and Miami. That's how it got the name. We're about 25 minutes from the port of Tampa. We've sailed out of there many times and a lot of the other ports in Florida. The only port that we really haven't hit that's, well, it's not really close, is Galveston. But we've done New Orleans, Mobile, Tampa, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Port Canaveral, Jacksonville. So we have a bunch of ports under our belt. And we're set to go on a cruise October the 16th on Virgin Voyages, Scarlet Lady. More about that later. Anyway, I had to let the dogs out. That's why I disappeared for a second. Uh, anyway, we hope that everybody is really getting excited to cruise if we cruise again this year. Let's face it, guys. It's been a tough year for cruising. Uh, we've had three canceled. I'm sure a lot of you people have had your cruises canceled. Uh, get money back. It's just been a tough year. Are we going to be cruising again? Absolutely. But don't know when. That's the other issue. It's August 1st, etc., etc., etc. Each cruise line's got its thing. Yes, you can read it on Google. Other vloggers go out there, drag it off of Google. Put their own opinions on the page. Well, that's their opinions. Uh, you know, until the CDC actually says, yes, Norwegian, you're good to go. Yes, Carnival, you're good to go. Until you're good to go and the plan that the cruise lines have submitted is okay to go, that's fine. Just think of the logistics, too. We have friends that are currently on board some Carnival ships that uh, they're still not home in India. We have another friend that was on the Carnival Paradise. She's still not home from the Philippines. Now, mind you, they stopped sailing March, oh, I think it was 18th, 19th. But anyway, we were on the last sailing on the Paradise that left Tampa. We came back and nobody else left. So they've been on the ship since March. Uh, they've transferred to other ships. Uh, it's been tough. She's been on that sh uh, various ships for almost 80 days. And I just talked to Akesh yesterday. Uh, he's on the Carnival Ecstasy. They just left Durban, South Africa. He's still not home yet. So hopefully these cruisers will get home. And wow, I mean, people want to go on a long cruise. That's really a long cruise. But anyway, you know, we're all going to get back to cruising again. Hopefully, you know, it's, uh, things are going to change. We know that. Uh, the other thing, too, is Pam and I actually work at the Port of Tampa. We work as peer agents. We work for royal ships. We work for carnival ships. We work for Norwegian ships. Whatever ships in there, the company that we work for is contracted to provide peer services. So we're the people that say hello, look at your documents, tell you to go this way, tell you to go that way. Uh, anyway, uh, we enjoy that job. We've been off since March. Who knows when we're going to go back. Uh, but we haven't heard anything from our employer yet. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there. We're probably going to know once the cruise lines start to come out with stuff. But, you know, right now, we don't know. Unfortunately, you know, nobody likes li waiting in lines. And that's potentially going to be one thing. We don't know yet. You know, they're going to say it's going to be a sign boarding time. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. Yes, here again, vloggers, it's speculation. It's all speculation right now. Uh, we don't like to see people wait in lines, but, you know, they might start forcing, and I say might, start enforcing the designated check-in times. So that means if you have a designated check-in time from 12 to 1230, that doesn't mean getting there at 10 o'clock. You know, there's some things that usually the ship's not ready. For example... I'm just going to go over something quick. 
is when that ship comes in. We have to debark it, okay? You guys all know that. Those cruisers got to come off. Now, sometimes it takes a while. Self-assist, self -assist, pardon me, self-assist luggage takes forever. It's slower. Uh, when the, the baggage is some of the first thing to come off, believe it or not, and it goes down in a luggage hall, it comes off, it gets organized. Uh, yeah, that's where I see a lot of the uh, four-wheel suitcases get tore up because they don't handle it gently. But going back to that, what it does is we have to get everybody off the ship. If custom slows down, everything backs up, and it's just a mess. So that slows it down. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with customs? There's a lot of people. You know, there's just there's just so much stuff. They got to get food on, off the ship, the garbage off the ship, food on the ship, fuel on the ship. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Once everybody's off the ship, and we're calling, we're waiting in the terminal. It's like, okay, the carnival representative on shore hears from the ship. Zero count. That means we have nobody left on board from the previous cruise. Then the turnaround starts. That does not mean you're going to get on the ship as soon as we get zero count. Then on the ship, they have to get some certain stuff ready. We have to get some stuff there. And then when we say, okay, you're um, VIFP or whatever you are, you're privileged or whatever, 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 whatever loyalty level, suites, this and that, welcome aboard. Then we start doing that. That could all change. We don't know. I just, it's my opinion, they might hold it off and say, okay, we're going to get the ship ready to board. When you check in at your assigned times, it's going to be bang, 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 and you're going to get right on board rather than people sitting in the terminal in these areas because, you know, some of the terminals just don't have enough room. I know Terminal 3 in Tampa is the biggest that has the most room. Terminal 6, which is just north of Terminal 3, doesn't have that much room. And same thing with Terminal 2, which is just south of Terminal 3 here in Tampa, that's got less room. So, unfortunately, it's going to be crazy. But we just don't know. That's just speculation. Until the cruise lines, companies come back and say, hey, here's what's going to go on, so be it. But, you know, be patient. Uh, a friend of uh, mine said, you know, he said, I'm really not looking forward to going back. It's like, well, we have to know what's going on first. Uh, we just don't know. Saying that, you know, here's one of these things. Please, please, please. You know, we work at the port. We love working there, but be respectful of the people that work there. You know, we're there to help you. We're there to enjoy your cruise. Brian Dancer, I'll call out Brian Dancer. He said, Richie, you need, need to talk about what you've experienced at the pier. We've had people show up. They've, here's one thing. Don't put your luggage, uh, don't put your, um, uh, documentation in your check-in luggage and check it in uh that's happened uh facebook is not your lawyer it is not the gospel we've had people come there with documentation said oh so and so on their facebook channel or youtube channel said it was okay if you're not sure call the cruise line get a name get documentation but you know what that saying is CYA and you guys know what I'm talking about I won't say it but anyway just because so-and-so's YouTube channel said oh it's okay to use that well they were wrong they try to get you on but make sure you have the proper documentation like I said call the cruise line Facebook is not the law. It has a lot of good information, a lot of good material. There's a lot of cruisers out there. They're taking a lot of cruises. They've done a lot. There's travel agents. But you need to cover your you-know-what. Get documentation. Make sure. Again, make sure you have your documentation. Passports, uh, government-issued ID, birth certificates, but make sure it's what's required for that cruise. Now, I know some of them on one particular channel said, hey, all you need for a cruise is your birth certificate and your government-issued ID. That's for a closed-loop cruise. Well, that's about 95% right. 
A closed loop cruise, it starts and finishes in the same port, okay? Now, for example, here in Norwegian, out of Tampa, it was a closed loop cruise. It started in Tampa, it ended in Tampa, but it was where it was stopping at. You needed a passport book, not a card, a book. So this particular passenger came, he had a passport card. Well, they tried. But NCL has a final say on who gets on board. It's not the people working at the terminal. Each cruise line has a person that blesses or says no. And trust me, that particular gentleman lost $6,000. If you read your contract, and I know everybody reads their cruise contract. I know some of you do. But a lot of you don't. It says, do you accept the terms and conditions of this contract? Click. We've got a booked cruise. Yay. Read your contract. Make sure it says, uh, you know, you really need to know what it says. Because this guy was upset because he lost $6,000. It was his fault. He, It stated in there what the documentation was, what was required, and he lost six grand. And Norwegian said two bits. So, you know, at least take a glimpse, scan your contract, make sure what it says. I've done it. Everybody does it. Everybody click bang. We got a cruise booked reach contract. Make sure you know what it covers Going back there when you get to the cruise terminal porters use your porters uh, Also, uh, it's just a couple bucks and these monster suitcases now This is at our port. We don't have these huge luggage scan machines But I've told people I've worked the escalator. I know people don't like hanging onto the rail and now with this COVID stuff Nobody wants to hang on to the rail. But make a long story short is make sure you, that, you know, some of these monster, monster suitcases, oh, I'm going to take it on with me. They won't fit through security. Uh, when you get to your check-in, outside, inside, make sure you have your documents ready. Birth certificate, ID, passport, passport card, you know, whatever is needed, green card, whatever. Make sure your documentation's ready. Get in there. It goes a lot faster. Security. So a lot of times cell phones, electronics, this and that, put them in your bag, It'll get you through faster. Certain cruise lines have booze restrictions. I know with Norwegian here in Tampa, you got more than two bottles. Well, actually they document the amount of bottles you have. So, and they will charge you a corkage fee. So each room's different. I mean, I'm sorry, each cruise line's different, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Once you get inside, do your check-in. Make sure you have your online check-in done. Carnival has a green, yes, I'm done. Or another one that says no. It helps. Each cruise line is different. Uh, my wife Pam sailed on Princess. We did everything on the phone. Downloaded security picture, passport information. If it was Ocean Medallion, all we did was, uh, well, not we, uh, my daughter and her went. Uh, all they did there, we got the Ocean Medallions here, uh, put them on lanyards for Pam and Crystal. They get on the ship. Uh, basically, when they got to the port, they went in, they checked their bags, they went inside, they went to this area for Ocean Medallion. Boop, read it. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Boom, off you go. Uh, there's a lot of cruise lines. Cruise lines are evolving technology wise. You know, some places now you don't need a boarding pass. You know, bring your phone, make sure your phone's got a good charge. But, you know, Royal's going to tablets, Carnival's got tablets, uh, Norwegian's not there yet. But technology is evolving. It's going to speed things up for people. And, you know, with this, this crud now that we have, uh, technology is probably going to be advanced even more with the cruise lines. Who knows? But it, it's coming. I, I eventually foresee that in the future. Uh, but anyway, you know, it, it's crazy. Uh, another thing, too, is, is behave yourself to terminals. Uh, we don't see it as much with uh, getting you on board. Now, some people say, I don't need to show you this. I don't need to show you that. We're there to do our jobs. We like to see your boarding pass. You know, there's certain steps that we have to go through. Some people just wave us off. So, no, you don't need to see it. I'm going to do what I want. Well, we don't know what the new stuff's going to be. It could get worse. Just be patient. We have the job to do it. We want to try to get you on that ship. Trust me. Uh, Debarks usually crazy some people are happy to get off the ship some people are bummed out uh we've had people that uh i almost got pushed down an escalator three huge bags 
Guy come up, I'm using the escalator. I'm not going down the elevator. I said, you'll use the elevator. No, I'm not. He chest bumped me. I staggered a little bit. I went right back. And I said, you're not going down. And he said, yes, I am. I yelled for security. We do have security at the ports. We have security here in Tampa. Also, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is outside too. You might be going on a cruise if you get really rowdy. And you'll be going on a cruise in the back of a police cruiser. We had that happen one time. The ships were delayed. He poked uh, one of our peer agents in the chest, kept poking her and yelling, well, very flowery language, let's say. I mean, the sheriff's deputies were there quick. They put him in the back of the car. They took him down. He was uh, booked, released, came back. I actually saw him get on board, and I asked him what happened. He said, uh, I have to appear in court when I get back uh, a couple weeks from now. Uh, I was wrong. You know, I've had people in line start raising uh, cane in the line about, you know, this is this, this is that. Each port's different, guys. Each check-in process is different. Some places, you know, like Carnival here in Tampa and other places, faster than fun, uh, platinum and diamond, sweet guest check-in here. Uh, some of them have it outside, you know. Some of them have it inside. Some of it happens after you go through security. It depends how your ports are set up. Not everybody's the same. It, there's different companies, too, that... that, that do the uh, check-in services. We're not the only one. There's other people. But, like I said, try to behave yourself at the port. Uh, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, you're excited to get on board. Uh, emotions overrule sometimes. Uh, I've had, I've learned some new curse words. Uh, I was in a baggage hall at Terminal 2. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he couldn't find his baggage, and uh, he kept swearing and carrying on and acting like an idiot. I walked away. I said, sorry, sir. I don't have to take that language. Uh, probably about 20 minutes later, he came back again, started it all over again. Unfortunately, I said, here, let's go see my supervisor. He started in on my supervisor, called me something, which I really can't mention on here. But anyway, I walked away and I said, sir, I'll... I'll just take it with a grain of salt. You're upset. Uh, but my supervisor will take care of you. He started in on her. He, she said, come with me. She went out to the doorway. She got a hold of the sheriff and said, keep this guy outside the terminal until all the luggage is out. When I come and get you, you can come back in. So we do have security there. We can tolerate. We try to be helpful. But to be downright abusive and say, oh, it doesn't happen. Yes, it does. Sally to say, it does. Uh, if, if you feel you... Uh, uh, here's a quick story. Some lady, uh, she brought three bottles of booze, so she decided, well, you can only take two on board. So she said, I'm not checking in. What did she do? She went out, sat somewhere, and chugged a bottle down, rather than give it away or pour it away. And by the time she got ready to come back for check-in, well, actually, it was while she was checking in. She collapsed in the check-in line. Gee, wonder what was wrong with her. Uh, unfortunately, she missed the ship because she passed out. She just got sloppy, fallen down, drunk, and passed out. They had to take her to the hospital. Unfortunately, she missed the ship. But just a caption, guys, you know, please behave yourself there. Documentation, luggage, make sure you pack your stuff. Don't put your documents in your luggage. Uh, put it in your carry-on bags. Make sure you got it. Make sure your cell phones are on your person. We've had bags left in Uber, uh, in, in vans, phones left in vans, phones left in cars. Uh, it, it's just crazy, some of the stories. Uh, but, you know, hopefully we're all going to get through this and, you know, we'll be cruising again. We've got three coming up this year. We've got one in October. Hopefully it goes. We've got another one in November out of Tampa. And my wife and my daughter have one in December out of either Miami or Fort Lauderdale. Uh, but anyway, we've hopefully we'll sail on the three. But if not, well, we'll just rebook it. I know a lot of you people had to rebook cruises, uh, unfortunately. 
it's just sad. Uh, my wife's a travel agent. She works for Expedia Cruise Ship Centers, South Tampa. Some of you people have heard of that. Uh, there, there's another vlogger. His wife works for Expedia Cruise Ship Centers. I uh, won't mention any names, but you people that follow the channels know who she is. But uh, good bunch of team there. You know, use who you're happy with. If you like booking through a PVP, which a lot of them got laid off, but, you know, that's your choice. You want to book it online? You want to use a travel agent? You know, that's your choice. Do what makes you feel comfortable. Do what you're happy with. You know, sometimes a TA, and that's a shout-out to all the TAs out there. Uh, my wife has people that if it hits the fan that she can actually contact. Uh, we have people up the chain. Okay, you're talking to one person. She can call. We just had a gentleman that uh, he had a virtual tour. That's our PDM here, BDM for here for Tampa. And uh, we've gotten a hold of him, had an issue. He said, no problem, I'll take care of it. Made a couple phone calls. We've had that happen for Norwegian, Carnival, and Royal. Uh, we have that other person to run it up the chain. As to where you call the cruise line, we'll get back to you. Call sometimes at these cruise companies. Never stepped on a cruise ship. I have no clue. Uh, so, you know, sometimes it's like, well, I'm going to call the cruise line. Yes. But, you know, a lot of times there's a lady asked, I said, you know, how long you been working for Carnival? She said, four years. Uh, how do you like cruising? She said, I don't know. I've never been on one. So, you know, there's experience there too. Let's just say how many cruises Pam and I've been on? We'll just say 30 plus. So we have it under our belt. Uh, Pam's going to Europe next year for the first time. Where have I been? I've been to almost all 50 states. Uh, yes, I've been to Hawaii. Uh, we were supposed to go to Alaska, but missed out on that. Maybe for my 70th birthday. Because next Wednesday, a week from now, I'm going to be 68 years old. Yes, and I know I got this too, but, you know, I spent good money getting that. But anyway, you know, I'm in fairly good health. Uh, the only trouble is... These are starting to go bad on me. Uh, I've been suffering from glaucoma for 30 years this year. I've held it off. Uh, I want to go now. So, guys, you know, if you can, go. I want to go to a lot of places that I haven't seen while I can still see. So, you know, sometimes if you can do it, go for it. Do it while you're healthy, while you can see, while you got your health. If your health's not that good, you know, they got scooters and that stuff. If you're carrying, uh, you know, around excess weight or something like that, you know, take it to yourself. I got to lose that weight. You know, we have certain people. It's it's uh, you know, it's it's a battle. Uh, my wife, it was uh, type two diabetes, and doctor said you got to lose weight. How'd she lose it? Uh, watching what she ate. She went on a diabetic diet, which my mother, a RN, uh, she had passed away. She lived in the ripe old age in 92. Uh, but anyway, uh, Pam went on the diabetic diet, and she lost over 100 pounds. So I'm proud of her. You know, it's it's a case where, you know, if you, if you have the capability to get it off, get it off. Yeah, I got to get some off too. Once they open the pools up, I'm going back in the pool. I was a former scuba diver. Uh, my C card turned 50 years old this year. So uh, my certification card, I've had it a long time, very long time. I slowed down a little bit. I haven't done it in a couple of years, but good hobby if you want to get into it. Go get it at a local dive shop. I know I'm dragging stuff in here that doesn't belong in here, but you guys snorkel. Uh, scuba diving is an evolution from snorkeling. If you can do it, do it. But, you know, but please, guys, you know, take the opportunity. If you can afford it, if you can do it, do it. Go for it. Uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Well, you know, I had friends that were, well, you know, I shoulda went here. I shoulda went there. You know, life is short, guys. Enjoy every moment. Take care of your friends. Uh, be caring. That's one thing that my mother taught me, which, uh, you know, even when I was in upper management, uh, you know, I cared about people. Sometimes I took a beating over it. But I didn't like hurting people's feelings, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, okay, guys, I know I've got long-winded about this. Uh, let's see, I've gone on for 15 minutes.
some of it's been about cruising, but I just wanted to drop this video out there. See how you like it. Yeah, I had on backwards because my hair is a mess. Anyway, and it is a carnival golf shirt, uh, shirt, hat. Yes, and I do have a carnival shirt on. I can't see it, but anyway, Grand Turk. But anyway, and then I put it on the other way. Now you can't see my face, so I'll put it around backwards. But anyway, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy this. It's just casual. I'm not saying it's professional. I don't have a super fancy background, nor will I. Uh, I don't have all these trophies on the wall that everybody can see how many cruises I've been on or letters or ships on a stick. I got that out in boxes. I, I, I wouldn't have enough room to put it up on the wall. All the ships on the stick and the drink things and all that stuff. Uh, I don't have a room dedicated to cruising. Uh, I never will. Uh, I just enjoy it. It's not about what you see behind me. It's what you see here, what we talk about. Yes, we have some really nice backgrounds. No, I'm not going to do a green screen. I'm 68 years old. I'm not fooling around with that stuff. Um, I'm just being honest. I'm going to be off the cuff. This is me, guys. Uh, I am who I am. Uh, I'm originally from Pennsylvania. Don't take that against me. My wife's from Tennessee. So, you know, when we get there, we're going to be doing the live thing one of these days when we have the time, when we get it set up, when the lighting's right. Uh, you know, I want it to be right. Uh, some, of the, some of them I've been on, uh, the people are fuzzy. And, and, you know, I want it to look good. But, uh, you know, I'm a perfectionist in that. But anyway, this was shot with a uh, GoPro Hero 8. Just bought it. Like it so far. Uh, haven't been... I was ready to use it to go on our cruise in May uh, on Virgin Voyages, but that got canceled. Yes, we did have one booked, and we were excited. But uh, will we get back on? Who knows? Maybe that's a surprise coming in the future. But anyway, uh, guys... Have a good day. Enjoy yourself. Be careful during when this crud stuff's out running around right now. Just be diligent. Use your head. And uh, have a good day. And you can find us on uh, YouTube at Voyages and Vacations with Pam and Rich. And also on Facebook. Same name. Voyages and Vacations with Pam and Rich. I know it's a foot long name. But there's. Uh, what do you name your channel? I mean it's just like. I just say you know what. It is what it is. Uh, there's ones with uh, short ones, long ones. Uh, that's what we do. Oh, and we've done all inclusives too. So I'll let you go. That's another story. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Uh, let's see. What do I got? Uh, I got to. What are we going to look at here? I have to feed my doggies. Okay, so guys, have a good day. It's almost their lunchtime. Enjoy.